French defense, Tarash, open, delayed exchange variation, 5.ngf3 a 6. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White took advantage of the opportunities they saw in the opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. While preparing for d5, the French defense prevents the light squared bishop in favor of a strong center and opportunities for counterattacks. The center is fully controlled by d4 and the dark squared bishop is made available. The e4 pawn is threatened by the center counterattack on d5. Nd2 develops the knight and defends the e4 pawn. A6 controls the b5 square and prepares the b5 pawn push. Ngf3 develops the knight toward the center, supports the d4 pawn and controls the e5 square. C5 takes space in the center, attacks the d4 pawn and prepares to develop the knight behind the c pawn. It is a fair deal after all captures. Recaptures. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. Backs off. When a bishop moves away from being attacked, this gains a tempo. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is the last book move. This wins a tempo on a queen while while developing a piece. It is ideal. This blocks an attack on a vulnerable queen. It is good. The bishop is now in a secure position. That's good. The game was close to balanced, but now black is worse. It is a mistake. This prevents a queen on the other side from checking. It is quite good. This makes winning a bishop possible. It is ideal. This prevents a queen on the other side from checking. It is ideal. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is good. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is quite good. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. This threatens to fork pieces. It is best. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. This stops the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is good. Although white lost their edge, the game is still almost evenly matched. It is incorrect. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. This threatens to pin a knight to the king. It is best. This activates a piece and simultaneously wins time by attacking an opposing queen. This is the only good move. It is a great move. So, a knight is attached to the king. That's good. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. That's good. This strikes the rival queen. It is ideal. This moves the queen to safety. This threatens to reveal an attack on a queen. It is good. This gains time by putting a queen in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. This move puts the queen on a safer square. This threatens to reveal an attack on a queen. It is best. This forces the opponent to double their pawns, which weakens their pawn structure. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Backs off. This can indicate that a queen was attacked. It is ideal. This defends a knight that was under attack and had no defenders. This threatens to win a bishop. It is excellent. This exposes a knight assault. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Very precise. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is quite good.
This is an equal trade. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is excellent. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. Recaptures. This threatens to activate a rook by getting it to the seventh rank. This is the start of the end game and black is equal. It is best. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is quite good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is quite good. Backs off. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is quite good. A solid choice. It is excellent. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. The pawn is now in a safe position. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. A very strong play. It is excellent. Among the best actions. It is quite good. That's fine. It is good. Very precise. It is best. This avoids the bishop's check. It is ideal. A solid choice. It is excellent. This takes an outpost, an active square where the bishop cannot be kicked out by a pawn. It is excellent. That is a logical response. It is quite good. A very strong play. It is excellent. By moving it from the back rank, this activates the king in the end game. That's good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. The pawn is now in a safe position. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is quite good. This is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White took advantage of the opportunities they saw in the opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. 